Right, we're up Pretty Barrows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over there. Then nine here, I think. One, two, that could be counted as three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine there. Two sets of barrows. Some have gone downhill quite a lot, if you know what I mean. From up here, I'll be able to see where the cows are. But the gate's just there. And no sign of cows in there. Now, quite often, I do go in where the barrows are, but I might not today. Because it does look very wet, the grass. But every now and again, they have got escape routes for people. You can get over. They could do with a, one along here, another one here. <coughs> anyway, right over there. Western Woods, I bet, or somewhere over there. Um, no, Cheddar. I can make out the aerials right over there. The Cheddar Gorge areas right over there. You can't make out the church from here, but it is probably down in, down there somewhere. This is St. Lawrence Church I visited a moment ago. Somewhere down there. And the cows are all peacefully lying down. And why are they lying down? Because rain is expected. Like I said, with this camera, I can't see nothing but my own reflection. The cows are over there somewhere. I just sort of move it a bit. It's really, really hard to see them. Most of them are sat down. Because they feel great coming tomorrow. There's already been quite a lot of rain. I have been approached by cows before here, don't forget. So For a while, and there's a wood down there. Um, stop, stock something wood, which I do. I probably will visit at some point. The cows don't look like they can get in that field, but it's not to say I don't, know if, I don't even know if this is video. I don't know, is it? Can't see. Yeah, I think it is. That's not to say there aren't any cows further down. Now, the bat bloke said there was a lot of rain. Well, I know in this place... I know when this place is saturated, because I've walked here when it's been really, really boggy. And, um... It's dry. We haven't. But the thing is, we haven't even had a heat wave. You know, we haven't even had a heat wave. No, he was uh, a typical bloke and thinks he's right. What he says. Yeah, I'm not going to go in there because I don't want to walk through knee height wet grass. But sometimes it's not as high as that, it's been harvested. There's probably the odd path in there. I'm quite happy just to skirt today because there's no cows in the field. If there were cows in here, and there could, still could be, don't forget. But there is a gate coming up. Sometimes they have more than one herd here. And um, as you can see, there is dry cow pack. Yeah, I've been, if you go on YouTube, you can find my videos of Pretty Barrows. And I'm standing on the top, walking around them, taking lots of photos, and with really good cameras in those days. <sighs> I 
I'm doing a walk that I've been doing for a few years now and it didn't bother me at all how far I walked but now I think oh god it's quite a long way you're going and I used to go even further I'm not you know the plan is to go to Ebber Gorge and then walk back as long as it don't rain otherwise I might have to cut it short I'm going to turn off for a minute folks I expect this is very very shaky so there's the cows over near the other set of barrows the eight barrows <coughs> these ones are part of this group here really and I wouldn't be surprised if there hadn't been some more barrows that over time have been flattened and they prefer you not to go on them to be quite honest so I don't have to go on them every time I'm here I've been on them once just to get the feel of it. <coughs> Ancient Neolithic barrows. Might be they might have discovered more, might be Bronze Age, I don't know. But I thought, well I was intended to go for a walk anyway, and this turned out to be the better day. When Baggy died, I, I mean, I wanted to stay with Zara. <coughs> but she's requested to be left alone for a couple of days. She just needs to come to terms with it all. And to get used to not having her little friend with her, even though I'm in the same building, I mainly visited them. Okay? See? Now that's, I don't think they did have a sign up before. See? Private land now. They don't actually want people on the barrows. People still will though. It's a bit like Stonehenge, you see. But this is the right way here. So we just, I think I'm on, we just stand here for a minute, catch our breath and uh, can hear a skylark or something. The only reason I get in here really is if cows are in here. And then I would keep away from the barrows and try and get up, out further up. Which I have had to do, by the way. Now those people are brave enough, if they want to go on the other barrows, they'll have to walk near the cows. Down that path there. But I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't risk it. You don't know if they've got calves or anything. Down there you've got the parking. For when you go by car. I mean, I've walked all around that wood. I know that wood really well. I've been in there, picnicked there, explored it, and that is once again all on. I even took, I've even taken Zara and Brandy there. No, Zara and Maggie. Yeah, I've taken them there. We did do a few little excursions, but of course I haven't had. I didn't have had a vehicle for four and a half years. So I haven't been able to take Zara and Maggie anywhere on little trips, you know. I mean, I use bus and train because I get discounts and passes and stuff. Um, I got a bus pass, I got a, a rail ticket. You get 30% off when it counts, it's quite a big chunk. So I think it's called Stockwood or Stockton. It's something stock anyway. It's an old mining area. What you got to remember about Somerset around here. It's all very much old mining areas like Roebarrow and and places like that. Shipton. Shipham. 
there's even a there was a, a pub called the Miners Arms at Shipham and another one over here. They've all closed now. Drinking and driving, and these roads are very, very dangerous. Lots these little country roads. <sighs> I can remember one week I came over here, I had to walk a part of the road, it was so dangerous. A week later I heard um, someone, had, two or three people had got killed days before I walked along it, and then about a week or so after I'd been over, someone else died. They just go so fast in these country lanes. Now I had to make quite a big escape from here once this filled. That's why I have become very good at barbed wire fencing, getting over it, uh, and of course, and quickly. Basically, you take your bag off, you lie something across, and you just get over it. Hold on, and, and stay near a pole as well, because you can use the pole for one hand. Yeah, I had to get over There was a whole mass of cows here. And first of all, they were all right, and then they started to moo and stamp their feet at me. I had to get over here. They've double fenced it now. They've double fenced it. Too many people come in, I spat. I had to get over, and then I had to go into a completely different field to escape. Right, over and out, folks. This is some more of the burrows. The burrows, and there's quite a good view over there of the cows and the other burrows. I don't know what it's going to come out like, all this, over and out. <laughs>